We've already discussed that matter cycles through the biosphere. Now we're going to look at what kinds of matter cycle through the biosphere and how they do so. Remember, only matter cycles through the biosphere. Energy goes on a one-way trip from the primary producers up through higher trophic levels. In this lesson, we're going to explain how matter flows between trophic levels and among ecosystems. We're going to explain how water cycles globally. We will identify the importance of the main nutrient cycles and explain how nutrient availability affects primary productivity. Here we see an illustration of both the one-way flow of energy and the cycling of matter through the ecosystem. Through the ecosystem. Matter and energy, energy are both essential to life and seem to flow through trophic levels in a similar fashion. But energy flow is strictly a one-time, one-way stream. That's why there needs to be a continuous source of energy from the sun. Matter flows through trophic levels and then flows through cycles that reuse or recycle nutrients within and between ecosystems. These cycles called biogeochemical cycles are powered by the flow of energy. As matter is recycled, it is often transformed, but it is never created or destroyed. There are many ways in which the processes involved in biogeochemical cycles can be classified. One way is as biogeochemical processes. The second is as geological processes. The third is physical and chemical processes. And a fourth way to classify them is, as, is by human activities. Biological processes consist of any activities performed by living organisms that can include eating, breathing, burning food, and eliminating waste products. Geological processes include volcanic eruptions, the formation and breakdown of rock, and major movements of matter within and below the surface of Earth, like earthquakes and the shifting of tectonic plates. Chemical and physical processes include the formation of clouds and precipitation, the flow of running water, and the action of lightning. Human activities that affect cycles of matter on a global scale include the mining and burning of fossil fuels, the clearing of land for building and farming, the burning of forests, and the manufacture and use of fertilizers. These processes pass the same atoms and molecules around again and again. That's why we say that matter cycles. The four categories of global processes that you just learned about in the previous slide are represented in different places on the understanding global change model. The biological, geological, and physical and chemical processes drive elemental cycles which are represented on the model by the yellow ring-shaped arrows labeled elemental cycles. They cycle through the four different global ecosystems. Human activities are located on the model's out ring called causes of global change. All four of these categories of processes carry atoms through the atmosphere, the geosphere, the biosphere, and the hydrosphere.